Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I always feel like an orphan when they go away, even when it's only for a few hours. Yo, now we play hide and seek! Yay! Can I play? Say, can I play with you? Okay, but you get to count first. Mom! Dad? But who are you supposed to be, kid? It's me, Wash! Washington, your son! <laughs> it's true, it's me! Uh -huh. Wash, my little boy! What is that ridiculous disguise? You ashamed to be a fox or what? Uh, it's a... Uh... Wash, what are you... Hey, hi there, how's it going? Remember me? Sam, Sam the Boar! <laughs> Here you go. We do the disguise because... Shh. If my folks find out we're living with humans, they'll be furious. They could drag us straight back to the forest, Sam. What's up? Have we stopped playing? Oh, they're so cute. What are your names, little cutie pies? It's us. Eugenie? Susie? What is it with your dressing up obsession, son? It's not an obsession, Dad. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's fancy dress. Oh, we love fancy dress parties. Isn't that right? <laughs> Is it? I thought we were playing hide and seek. Say, you haven't seen where I live. Wait till you see my lair. Come on. There you go. Ta-da! Son. Where's the mud? Where's the pebbles? Dead leaves! Rotting wood! The utility room! Show them the utility room! It's dark, it's a total mess, and it stinks to high heaven of dirty socks! They'll love it! Hmm? Ah, that's better. So much more like a proper lair. And this is my bedroom. Not bad, huh? Where is your spring? I sure am thirsty. Don't tell me you don't have running spring water in your lair. I can't, buddy. Call that a spring? It's a puddle! Look, the water isn't even flowing. Ta da! Water on tap. See that, honey? Huh? It's a magic spring. Flows whenever you want. See? Those modern lairs aren't so bad after all. are those two clowns? Wash's parents. And we're obviously not meant to let on that we're living with humans. Are you telling me you have house domestic uh, pets in your last son? Uh, uh, no, uh, it's, uh, I mean. Honestly, can't you see? It's his little sweetheart. Pleasure to meet you, miss. Uh, uh. There is no way I'm going to let anyone think I'm your sweetheart, okay? You get rid of them this minute, or I'll tell them the real reason you're wearing that disguise. Vic, I, I beg of you, if you do that, they'll take me straight back to the forest, and I'll be the disgrace of the family. I want them to feel proud of me. <sighs> if they do believe you're my sweetheart, half the battle is won. You're so beautiful, gracious, intelligent. Not wrong there. Okay, I'll play the game. But if you don't get rid of them fast, I'll take care of them myself. I'm <clears throat> warning you. I, I I promise, Vic. Thank you. You won't regret this. Little water, <clears throat> honey. Your dad's got a surprise for you. You won't regret this? That's what you said, wasn't it? You'll be so much happier like this. When it comes to comfort, there's nothing like a traditional lair. <laughs> When the Livingstones see this, they're not going to be happy. Hey, really? 
relax. A quick lick of the brush and everything will be perfect when they get back. What happens if they get back early? No, they won't. My folks will be gone soon anyway. How's about a little chicken hunt? Just like the old days. What do you say, son? <laughs> Hey, uh, Dad, stop. Why go outside? I've got my own chicken coop right at home. Not bad, huh? That thing? A chicken coop? But where are the chickens? Inside. Just watch my hunting technique, Dad. <laughs> Go, Daddy-o! What is this abomination? Are you trying to poison me, son? Don't you have a proper chicken coop in the hood? Say, fresh meat! 's got to show off her culinary talents. Vic, honey, can you come over here, please? <laughs> Do your little magic with this hamster. Sorry to say, my little queen bee hates people watching her cook. You'd be better off in the living room. As you wish, washroom. Uh. <laughs> Whew. Now run and hide. Get it? <laughs> Vic, you got to help me. What's that? Hamster on Crout, Vic style. Translation, please. Two kibbles, two leaves, and my special ingredient inside. Vic, you are amazing. I know, but never, ever call me my little queen bee again, little washeroo. <laughs> Hamster on Crout, Vic style. I'm sure it's much better than it looks. Yuck! It's worse than it looks! This is disgusting! You want to get rid of us, son, is that it? Trying to tell us we're not welcome? No, I mean, uh, yeah, it's but... It's okay, son, we get it. We're on our way. Yeah, well played, Vic. How did you do that? <laughs> well, it only takes one little drop of cat pee to make even the best food totally inedible. But it is a trick I only pull in absolute emergencies, and the Living Stones will be home soon. Dad, I'm sorry, it's modern cuisine. You're not gonna leave just like that. Give me one good reason to stay, son. Just one! <laughs> yeah, I know! TV! What? What? TV! That thing there! <sighs> it's the best reason in the world to stay! Huh? But that's Elmo and Sandra! How did they get inside there? Elmo, Sandra? There must be a door somewhere. <laughs> no, it's just a box full of pictures. We even get to change the pictures using this special... Magic box! Stop! Ah, humans! Quickly, we've got to get out of this lair. There's not a second to lose. Stop! Don't panic. The humans are trapped. They're inside the box. They can't get out. Are you sure? Dr. Alessandro, we have to operate on Michael as fast as we can. I think I broke his heart. <laughs> Humans are totally wacko. See that, honey? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Thanks to you, my folks will leave here proud of me. But what do we do if they react like Sam the first time they ever watched TV? Yeah, I told you this is finished yet. Don't panic. If I remember correctly, we turned up at the end of the episode. That means we still have a small chance of getting rid of them before the Living Stones get back. <laughs> Come to my arms, my boy. I am proud of you, son. I must admit that to begin with, you gave me a scare. I even wondered if you weren't living with humans. <laughs> But this little box with humans hidden inside, that's brilliant! Congratulations, come son! Come on, let's go! And be sure to come see us in the forest with your friends! Oh! <laughs> Too late! We're done for! I don't believe it! How wonderful!
wonderful! Honey, have you seen this? Amazing! How did they ever guess it was the annual Woodland Festival? They've given the <laughs> whole living room a makeover! Look! There's even real mud! <laughs> ah, it's the Hendersons! What incredible fox costumes you're wearing! They look so real! Make yourselves comfortable, my friends. The party is just about to begin! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mr. and Mrs. Henderson, you changed your costumes? It must be said, though, your fox costumes were very fetching. So that was it, your little secret? You disguise yourself to live with humans like some dumb poodle? I'm happy here, Dad. They adore me. I know it's not what you wanted for me, but... It doesn't matter, son. It's been so lovely to see where you really live, Wash. <sighs> it's not how I'd have wanted you to turn out, but if you're happy here, to me, you'll always be my little wild fox cub. Mwah. <laughs> 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 Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. confession to make. I love you. It's my favorite soap opera. Hey, you're not the only one here. And majority rules. It's always the same with you guys. And I'm already 138 episodes behind. 100% magnetic, totally invisible. The brand new magnetic zipper. The future is now. Zip, 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 zipper. Huh? Invisible? That's what we need! With those zippers, no one will ever know we're wearing costumes! My friends, welcome to the end of all our worries! <laughs> Silly! What do we do with their old costumes? Toss them into the dumpster, cuz the future is now! Super invisible! I even feel like this is my real fur! You? Mm -hmm. I can't get this unstuck! <laughs> the magnetic field created by the zippers is way too powerful! Uh -oh. Quick! Everyone outside! <laughs> Just in time. This is worse than super glue. If this continues, the neighbors are going to get suspicious. Magnetic zippers look pretty cool on TV, but in reality, they're just a bit... Too magnetic? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, no use crying over zippers. Come on, let's go home. We'll put our old costumes back on. But Wash, our old costumes got thrown in the dumpster. 
<laughs> Uh-oh. Washington, Sam, give me that chicken right this second! That's a radish, not chicken. <laughs> but, but what in the... That's us! <laughs> but, but how can we both be over there and in here at the same time? And with fried... Chicken? Yeah. Me? Me? Hey there, bros. You gotta let me some. Easy! <laughs> 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 not a dodo bird. Those voices, they ring a bell. <laughs> It's the raccoon gang! They took our costumes so they could pretend to be us! Yeah, well, we'll see about that! Give us back our costumes, you bunch of imposters! Imposters? <laughs> who are you kidding? Isn't it you who spends your time pretending to be household pets? Yeah, well, uh, still, those are our costumes, huh? And besides, I'm not a dodo bird! There has to be four of us, otherwise those two humans are gonna catch on. Makes you look fat. Go on, get lost. Go back to your forest, you losers. These are our costumes now, and that is our life. <laughs> we put into becoming perfect pets has just gone up in smoke. This time we're gunners. It's back to the forest. <laughs> no, no way are we gonna let them take over our lives. Yeah? They're gonna find out what we're really made of. Yeah, we're gonna show them I'm not a dodo bird. This time you've gone too far, raccoon. Hey guys, I think these bozos didn't quite Catch our drift. Yeah? Ah, you didn't hear what we said, is that it? Go, Go home! home! Huh? Our beloved little pets, they're being attacked by wild animals! Huh? Yeah! Huh? Go back to the forest, you nasty beasts! <laughs> <laughs> So, strong arm tactics don't work. We're gonna have to use cunning. Use what? Uh, our intelligence. Okay, so I've got an idea. We'll need Victoria. Are things better now, darlings? We're gonna let you get some rest now. Poor guys. I bet we really did scare them. <sighs> Seriously, think we're gonna let you choose channels? That's 
not us in the house. Well, then who is it? The raccoons. They stole our costumes. You've got to help us. Well, I'll be. I hadn't even noticed. And how is this my problem? Oh, even Victoria can't tell the difference between me and a dodo bird. Listen, Vic, I got a plan. And if you can help us, you can take control of the remote. Mm -hmm. I'm all ears. Hey, guys, you hadn't noticed? It's time. Time for what? Uh, bath time? Have you forgotten? It's the humans who wash us. The pets. <laughs> what? Come on, be brave, my friends. It'll be over quickly, and you'll see. My plan is going to work. <laughs> And what's more, the Living Stones are real sticklers for hygiene. When you put up resistance, they pull out the Bath Robot Enforcer. <laughs> it's time, darlings! <laughs> oh, for dinner! What in the world has gotten into them? My heart is wavering. Oh, yeah. oh, come on. Only 137 more episodes. I have a confession to make. I love you. Oh. Oh. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Aren't you having breakfast with us? I didn't sleep a wink last night. Yeah? Hey! Whoa! Ever thought of packing on a beauty mask? Or at least a little facial scrub? Yeah! A mud mask will do miracles! Enough already! I think someone is spying on us. Oh, yeah? Why? I don't know. Maybe someone who knows we're not who we pretend to be and who's gonna blackmail us or worse, denounce us to the animal pound! Talk about paranoia. I always thought you watched too many spy films. A fox's nose is never, ever wrong. Honey, it's a done deal. The new neighbor has agreed. Super! That granny cupcake is such a sweetie. 
And here we go again. What? Oh, no! It all makes sense now. You guys still don't get it. The Living Stones are undercover spies. They've just been contacted for a mission. Ridiculous. They're only leaving for the weekend, and someone is going to look after us. It's just our new neighbor, Granny Cupcake. Oh, hello there, my little friends. I've heard so much about you. Boy, she looks shady. Oh, please. She's just a sweet old lady, and you've been watching too many movies, Wash. I brought you treats! Whoa! You're going to be in excellent hands. No, don't leave. We're in danger. <laughs> you see, Wash, there was nothing to worry about. We've never been so spoiled. I swear she's hiding something, believe me. Let's go rummage through her stuff. <sighs> Listen, Wash, I've had it up to my whiskers. I'd rather take another nap than continue listening to you spouting garbage. Uh, Granny Cupcake is trying to divide the ranks. That's so she can chew, Wash, and enjoy. <laughs> well, if that's how it is, I'm gonna rummage through her stuff on my own. <clears throat> Be hiding something. All right. Now that everyone is awake, everybody get inside on the double. Hmm. I told you she was shady. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am the only Lieutenant General authorized. Or, if you prefer, O-L-G-A, Olga. And don't pretend you don't know what I'm saying, because I know you know. <laughs> Excellent. So, I am a secret agent specialized in the art of disguise. Just see for yourself. Now, as you are going to see, I have been spying on you for quite some time. And I know everything! Oh, we're as good as back in the forest, guys! Mm -hmm. Under no circumstance do I want to send you back to the forest. What? She understands what we're saying? Yes, I do. I graduated summa cum laude in animal language, which makes it practical for recruiting you. Recruiting us? To do what? We have noticed your ability to pass yourselves off as pets and infiltrate this human household. You have shown great potential for becoming animal spies. Animal spies? Household pets make for awesome spies. Indeed, who would ever suspect them? No one, especially if they don't talk. Whoa! A whole new life awaits you, my future comrades! <laughs> Some vitamin powered kibble, courtesy of the government. <laughs> you are going to need to be in tip top shape before your mission begins. Can you believe it? We are secret agents. I've never eaten such delicious kibble. It's pretty cool living off the government, huh? Uh, what exactly is the government anyway? Agent Washington, what a surprise! Sweet dreams, buddy! Finally, I'll be able to put all of my talents to work. 
physical and mental. This is the dream of a lifetime. Boy, we're going to have fun. Yeah, it's as if we were all going on vacation together. Oh, yeah. Well, then, uh, what should I pack? Hmm, this one is bigger, but I prefer the color of this one. This one. This one, and no, no, not that one. This one. But you don't even know how to read, Wash. Yeah, well, that never stopped me from appreciating great literature. Ah, I found Victoria in the laundry room. It's just awful. She is. She has to sleep. Cats are indeed fascinating creatures. I have never, ever seen anyone nap so soundly. Yep. <laughs> and she won't be waking up anytime soon. I gave her a tranquilizer that would knock out a blue whale. But that's, that's horrible! Victoria! Now just calm down and march back to the living room. Someone is going to be picking you up very soon. There can't be any witnesses. <laughs> we can't leave without saying goodbye to Victoria. Silence! You are going to have to learn to shut up and listen. What in the world is that mess in that suitcase? You are forbidden to have any of your old belongings in your new life. This is how you are going to be traveling. I'll send you to headquarters. There, you'll receive your equipment and be sent to your new assignments. <laughs> North Pole for Sam. But it's cold up there. The Amazon for Susie. But I'll get swallowed whole by a giant snake. Australia for Eugenie. But I'm allergic to kangaroos. And finally, England for Washington. Oh, no. It rains there all the time. I hate the rain. But this means that we're not leaving together. We're going to be separated. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Olga, for having thought of us for such a prestigious job, but uh, it's just not our style. Hey there. Not so fast, little guy. If you don't want to go on your missions, I shall be obliged to reveal your true identity. <laughs> so what is it? Mission or animal pound? Oh, no, not the pound! Well, then, let's get a move on. <laughs> I am so happy to see that you are being reasonable. Listen, I've got a plan. We warn the mailman once we're in the van, okay? Great yeah, idea! Yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you. This box is totally soundproof, thanks to soundproofing material that interestingly enough smells like cupcakes. <laughs> but I'm getting off topic. What you must remember is that no one will be able to hear you scream. <laughs> Things don't look so good, do they? Yep. We're trapped like a bunch of rats. What's that noise? Hey there, gang. Did you miss me? How did you do that, Vic? What about that whale tranquilizer? The old pill in the cat food trick? Ha! <laughs> what an amateur. I knew the old lady had a trick up her sleeve, so I pretended to be asleep in order to jump in at the right moment. Wow! Thanks a ton, Vic. Well, what? I just love cupcakes. <laughs> ha! The mailman! Hmm. <laughs> 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 cupcakes! Oh, just look at that. How cute they are. We'll be there in just a sec, darlings. <laughs> Frankly, Victoria, if there's one of us who deserves to be a spy, it's you. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Do you have a fortune at your feet? Yes, sirree, you've got one. Fortune! Huh? Fortune? Thanks to this incredible metal detector, if there's gold, silver, or precious jewelry buried in your garden, this detector will tell you about it in no time at all. Cutting edge technology, three day guarantee single cash payment with extra charge, this magnificent device will change your life. Change my life? Amazing! Everything I've dreamed of! I'll take it! <laughs> what is that incredible machine? Ugh, incredible or not, I don't like the look of it at all. Later, guys! <laughs> The battery for the remote control. It works. We've been looking for that battery for days. That machine is pure genius. I don't know how it works, but it sure looks fun. What in the world is that? A 50 cent coin. This, my dear, is a treasure detector. We are going to be rich. Amazing. Don't tell me you bought that piece of junk from the traveling salesman I saw in the street. But it was a real bargain. I'll go straight out into the yard and prove to you that this is not a piece of junk. A treasure detector. Well, I knew how to detect one thing. The best places in the yard to nap in the afternoon. <laughs> On three we jump. One, two, Hmm. Uh huh? No. Oh, uh -huh. Ah. Ah. Uh, it's like our yard is sitting on a treasure trove. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, get out of here. Yeah, looks like there's no way I'm getting a peaceful afternoon nap today. This whole yard is crammed with treasure just waiting to be dug up. Oh, another treasure there! <laughs> Honey! Oh. I told you, our lawn is brimming with treasure. Quick, I need something to dig with. You're on your own here. Aha! Hmm. See how excited he's become since he's got that treasure hunting gizmo? Incredible! Nah, the true scientist is only too familiar with the thrill of discovery. Yeah, and by some weird coincidence, it detects treasure wherever I decide to take a nap. Yeah. Can you believe that? Wait, you mean to say the detector always beeps wherever you're standing? Mm-hmm. <gasps> that is no reason to be pleased with yourself. If that detector always beeps near you, it must be because of your zipper. My zipper? Yes, think about it. The remote battery, the dime, that detector detects metal! <gasps> and your zipper is metal! Like Eugenie's, like Susie's, and like mine! <gasps> and so obviously it sets the detector off. We're done for. Yeah, you reckon? I know we are. We have no place here. So, what are we gonna do, Wash? I know, while there's still time, oh. we've got to watch TV! We have to stop him digging! <laughs> yeah, but what for? If he discovers there's no treasure beneath where you're sitting, he will realize it was you setting the thing off! No! Right, here we go! Here's pretty good, isn't it? You mean 
we get some tiny weird guys with pointy hats to make the toy for us? And then we wait for the snow so they can deliver it to us? No! We head down the chimney! Ah! Great idea! <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing there. Hmm. That's impossible. Uh oh! Quick, Sam! Follow me! <laughs> Your zippers were made out of that weird stuff that makes that really loud sound when you pull on it. You mean Velcro. Okay, right, don't panic. There must be some solution. Let's think. You sure? I'm thinking, 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 thinking. Sam, what are you doing? Sam! Water! What's up with him? I only asked him to think. Ouch. Bad idea. Okay, I'm off. I'll leave you to think in peace, huh? You okay, Sam? Mm, Sam and Kibble. Huh? What Kibble? You, oh, no. Why did you wake me up, Wash? I just found a huge bag of Kibble hidden in the yard using the detector. <laughs> there isn't any Kibble in the yard, Sam. It was just a dream. <gasps> Sam! You are a genius! What? We're going to get a kibble detector? No! We're gonna hide real treasure in the yard. That way, when Mr. Livingstone finds out, he'll leave us completely alone. Real treasure? Like what? Something very, very precious. Something people have to hide so that nobody finds it. <gasps> I think I have an idea, Wash. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I need to change the batteries. Yeah. Ha! Hey, there you are, Sam. It's all right, he's gone. It's up to us now. Did you bring the treasure? Yeah, look at this. Acorns? What are we supposed to do with acorns? You wanted treasure, and you know this dash of acorns is a true treasure to me. It's taken me many months to collect it. Oh, Sam, we're not in the forest now. Humans don't care for them. They're just acorns, get it? We need real treasure, something shiny, some treasure so incredible, people would do anything to get their hands on it. We know where you can find treasure, real treasure. Duh. It's true, come on, we'll show you where it is. Mm. <laughs> ah! So shiny, like treasure. Ain't that right, Wash? Yeah, but what is it? I don't know, but the girls are right. That's the prettiest treasure I've ever seen. Right, no time to lose. We have to bury it before Mr. Livingstone gets back. <laughs> what are you doing? We're covering our tracks. But not now. First, we have to put the treasure in the hole and then fill the hole back in. Uh -oh. Uh, what? Uh oh. Ah. Ah. What's that bag you're hiding behind your back, Sam? Yeah. You haven't found my treasure, have you? Go on, show me, Sam. Oh, no. Yeah. Sam? Sam, give that to me. You have stolen it from me. Hey, <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Huh? Uh. Yeah. Uh. This way, Sam! Quick! It's okay, Sam. Ha! Yeah. There they are, my pretty little treasure thieves. Uh. 
Everything's going to be fine, Sam. Just hand over the bag. Ah, now there's a good boy. Uh, acorns and a cheese grater? Huh? And there's me thinking I found some real treasure. Darling! Mm? Ah, there you are. What's the matter? You were right, honey. I have found nothing but a pile of junk. Oh, wow! This is my Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater! I thought it was lost forever! Thanks! This is the best treasure you could ever find! Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. For a picnic. See you this evening. Am I dreaming or did they just leave without us? But I'm starving. You stop. <laughs> We're sharing the meatball. Yeah, we share it. Share it, share it, share it. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Sam. Sorry, Wash. Don't worry, it's just a teeny weeny tomato stain. I can get rid of it in a blink with my eyes closed. <laughs> there you go. Oops. You're lucky, Sam. Just so happens, I'm an expert. Wow! Wow, what? Nothing happened. And now all we have to do is wait for my costume to finish washing. to get a decent nap around here. Oh, hey! A documentary on dogs! Oh, wow, just what we needed. With his silky coat of hair and fascinating looks, the Afghan hound has always been the darling of the dog show beauty contest. Hey, that looks like Alvarez. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't surprise me at all that Alvarez loves beauty contests. Excellent sense of smell, which makes him a marvelous hunting dog capable of chasing down rabbits, gazelles, and even foxes. I think I understand better now why Alvarez doesn't like you, Washington. Bad! Ah, don't be ridiculous. Everyone likes me. We met with a proud owner of an Afghan hound who has decided to train his dog for hunting. Alvarez has already won every beauty prize there is, so I thought it was time to move on to more serious things like hunting. <laughs> Just to let you know that we'll be home sooner than expected because of the rain. Is everything okay? Ah, right, of course, you can't answer me. <laughs> See you later! Oh no! My costume! I absolutely have to put my costume back on! Ah, come on! Always works on the sixth try. Yeah. You have selected the extra long cycle. Your washing will be finished in three hours. No, Susie, no! It's not working at all! Oh. Uh. No, 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 no,
I've got to get out of the house immediately. Sam, you keep him from coming into the laundry room. Susie and Eugenie, you bring me my costume when it's ready. Quick, Wash, they're here. Be extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. Hmm. We're home. Extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. <gasps> Everything's gonna be just fine. They just wanted to scare me, that's all. And I'm not afraid of anything anyway. <laughs> Honey, do you know where Washington is? No, he must be hiding somewhere in the house because of the storm. I'm gonna go do some laundry, and then I'll go see if I can find him. Uh, uh, what's going on, Sam? What in the world is he doing? No idea, but it's pretty funny. I'm not gonna last long at this. <laughs> Right, okay, time to head home. My costume must be clean by now. A wild fox! It must be the storm that forced him out of his natural habitat. It's our lucky day, Alvarez! <laughs> Going to get him, Alvy. Go on faster. <laughs> Alvarez has gone totally mad. I've got to get home at once. Okay, Alvarez may have a good nose. He's not half as smart as I am. came this way. You're doing a great job. We're gonna find that beast. Come on, Wash. Just a few more feet to go. What? <laughs> Pee you. Just an old box of rotten bananas. to finally have a quiet nap. <laughs> oh, no! Please, let me go! I've got 12 hungry pups and nothing to feed them. I came into the city looking for garbage, but I'll be gone in a blink, I promise. And to be honest, I don't even know why you'd want to hunt me. I, uh, I, I, I taste really bad. <laughs> My skin is too tough. Oh, and hey, check it out. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Hmm. Okay, all right then. Hunt me down. And tough luck for my little children. They'll be left all alone in the forest and wind up dry and brittle like little crackers. You like crackers, right, Albert? Uh, uh, Sir Fox ha Hunting Hound Dog? <laughs> P.U. Huh? So you don't want to hunt me? 
I'm not that disgusting after all. And I should add that I am a highly respected fox in my neck of the forest. Hmm. Here, taste me, and tell me to my face I'm not worth being hunted. Come on, taste me! Are you nuts or what? I've never hunted a fox in my life. <laughs> How gross can you get? But I thought that Afghan hounds just love to hunt foxes. Yes, well, let's just say that I much prefer beauty contests. Uh, but then, what do you want? This whole hunting thing, the idea was my master's. The fox of a red Quick, find the gold again. We gotta go find Wash before Alvarez catches him. That's quite an unusual cat dance. Honey, that cat has never ever done anything like a normal cat. So, what do we do now? I guess I'm gonna have to hunt you. Otherwise, my master will never forgive me. I know. We'll pretend you've already done it. So how's that work? Ouch! Here. No one will ever believe us. I need way more. Uh, <laughs> Alvarez? All right, how was that? You happy now? Yes. Did you get the fox, Alvy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my little fox hunter, I am so proud of you. There he is! Mm -hmm. Yes, dear neighbors, that is what happens to wild foxes who dare come anywhere near Alvarez's turf. I am the great Afghan hound, Fox Hunter Supreme! Uh -huh. yeah? Right, let's go home and run you a nice hot bath. How? Oh, but I have been so stupid and so cruel! All because I wanted to take a little nap! Wash! You were the funniest fox alive, the nicest. The most handsome? Yes, the most handsome. And the most intelligent? And the most intelligent. And also the strongest? And also the strong. Uh, uh huh? Wash! But, but, how? Well, Vic, you just said it yourself. I am the handsomest, strongest, most intelligent fox alive. What about Alvarez, the fox hunter? <laughs> Do you seriously think I'm afraid of a wimp like Alvarez? Why, I bet that as we speak, he's getting his hair done for the next dog show beauty contest. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody hooked up? Yeah! The Wild Bunny Express is ready to go! All aboard! Cheers! Yeah. Watch out! Tunnel coming up! Uh-oh. The Friday Express. Next stop, nowhere! <sighs> Phew, I'm exhausted. Time for a nice cup. Uh, what? But what's happening here? Ouch. Looks like the Wild One Express has reached the end of the line. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oops. Were you the ones who made all that mess? Uh, looks like we're really in for it now. We're to blame, too. They need space alicious and Arikins to stretch their legaroos. Hmm. Arikins? Space alicious? What are you talking about? They need space. They need air. They need to stretch their legs. Let's go to the forest. 
Mr. Livingstone, you are one of a kind. I simply adore you. Yeah. Oh, no! You remember the last time we went to the forest? <laughs> There's me thinking we were off the hook. Me too! Get adventure and commune with Mother Nature. No barriers, no fences. Let's drop all our defenses. Well done, guys. Thanks to you, I want a trip to the forest. You're on your own on this one. We'll never survive in the forest, Wash. We're not wild anymore. Calm down. I may have an idea to get us back home fast, but we'll all have to pitch in. You too, Victoria. <laughs> um, okay. Maybe not you, Vic. <laughs> Nature in the hood. The adventure's looking good. <laughs> Looks like you can't wait to stretch those legaroos. That's perfect. We have everything we need. Uh, you think this is gonna work, Wash? Completely. We all go out, we wear them down, and when they're on their knees, all they'll want to do is jump straight back in the car and head home. Go! When can we go home where it's nice and warm? Soon. Take a look over there. I'm beat. Where's my bed? I gotta lie down. Incredible. I gotta admit, I'm impressed. Yeah, I know. I'm amazing. Everybody, back in the car. We How about we stay the whole weekend? What? <sighs> Great idea. Looks like they love the forest. They're having a ball. In the meantime, we could get some shut eyes. Luckily, I planned ahead. One tent in, two seconds flat. <laughs> but, but, but I was sure. What happened? Oh no, what a shame. We're going to have to go home. I also planned ahead. You're the best, Vic. I admit, it was a good idea. Not a great idea, but a good idea. Well, how about we build ourselves a cabin? Even better! I'll go fetch the wood. And I'll go fetch food. Let's live wild! <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've seen enough. Let's face it, guys. I'm pretty sure we need a plan B. G guys? Guys? Girls? Where are you guys? I gotta say, this mud bath sure does you good. Hey! Get out of there! If anybody sees you, living wild like an angry child, living free like a big green tree. Honey, I have the wood! We're off to get adventure and commute with Mother Nature. <laughs> What's got it into you? You nearly blew our cover. Sorry, Wash. There was no it's my instincts. Me too. I can feel my instincts coming back. It's the forest. We have to find some way back home and fast. Otherwise, we're going to turn back into wild beasts. But uh, that's the answer. Hmm. Let's see. What do we have here? Metals, berries, roots, acorns. Ouch. Oh, no, that's a pebble. <laughs> Of course there are, honey. It's nature, you know. There's roe deer, squirrels... <laughs> boars and foxes? <laughs> Head to the car! <laughs> Hear that, my 
right, friends? Head to the car. That means we're going home. Yay! Listen, the engine's already running. Quick! <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Where are the living stones? That wasn't the engine. It's Vic snoring. Vic! 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 Ah! Oh, so you came back. The living stones aren't with you? No, well, that's just it. We thought they were up the car. You should have seen it, Vic. Wash and Sam played it being wild beasts and scared them off. They took to their heels like rabbits. How are we going to get home now if we don't even know where they are? I'm warning you, Wash. I refuse to spend one more second in this lousy forest, so you'd better find them if you know what's good for you. It was all part of my plan. What's the problem? Okay, guys, let's make like I said. Yeah, what was your plan again? I can't remember. Play along, Sam. Oh, where has that dumb car gone? We're, we're lost. Darling, what if those wild beasts come back? Now, now, don't panic. Nothing's going to happen to us. Using my legendary fox sense of smell, we'll find our masters in... <laughs> the Living Stones, quick, this way! Yeah, that's Mitch's cave! Maybe he's gobbled up Mr. and Mrs. Living Stone. And we'll never get to go home again. Look at him. This is one cute bear. So much cuter than the bear that invaded our bedroom. I was so afraid. Oh, Teddy. What a lovely, fluffy teddy bear. What? Look who's here. They found us. Well done, guys. Come and say hello to our new friend. He's adorable. Hi, yeah, guys. Welcome to my home. You know what, honey? I've just had the craziest idea. How about we hang out here for a few days? Mr. Livingstone, I adore you more and more. <laughs> it looks like we're going to be living together. <laughs> no, Wash, come back. Don't abandon us. <laughs> Okay, Vic, I've got something to confess. We couldn't find the living stones. We're gonna have to live in the forest for the rest of our lives. No hard feelings, huh? I warned you! Mmm, thank you, honey. What a delicious feast. This bear is so adorable, don't you think, honey? Mm -hmm. What's happened to Wash? He's not going to leave us alone with Mitch, is he? I'm back, my friends. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps he's not such a cute teddy bear after all. There is something slightly wild about him. The car! Well done, Wash. Good dog. Honey, wait. Safety first. Let's go home. Yeah, honey. We're through with stre stretching our like a ruse. Oh. Thanks for the claw job, Vic. I gotta confess, you found a pretty good way out for once. <laughs> Next time I swear I'll have my payback. Mm, those pine cones are quite good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? 
Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. What? Humans who work in supermarkets throw out perfectly good food into the garbage? Uh-huh. Why in the world would they do that? Go figure, Sam. You know humans, always doing really bizarre things. Shouldn't we have asked the girls to give us a hand? Nah, this is our treasure, Sam, just for the two of us. There it is. We're gonna put everything in the cart and bring it back to the yard. <laughs> what do these two deadbeats want? Yeah, uh, we uh, want to get the leftovers from the supermarket, because this happens to be our dumpster. <laughs> 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 I'll have you know. Let me make things clear. This entire street is my turf. Maybe we could share, like 50 50? Nah, we never share with losers. <laughs> Say what? What do they mean by losers? Losers? Hmm, let's see. How should I say this? You, for example, with your tacky costumes. Well, you're losers. And they yeah. are the exact opposite. They're cool. Huh? Those guys? They're cool? Oh, oh yeah! yeah! They're hipsters! The coolest guys in the world! Have you ever heard of zipsters? But they do weird things, no? And why shouldn't they? You know, when you're cool, you're allowed to do anything. Totally. Hipsters impose their coolitude. <sighs> they absolutely rule the city. Sam, I've got a plan so we can get our treasure out of the dumpster. We become Zipsters. But I thought we were losers. <laughs> now that's going to change. Once we become Zipsters, we'll be so cool that Fang will be dying to share with us. Mm -hmm. And what if he refuses? Then we'll help ourselves. After all, Zipsters are allowed to do anything. <laughs> this Zipster kit I ordered on the net is just awesome. Ooh. Ooh. We're almost there, Sam. Are you sure? Zipster, Sam. <laughs> you sure about that? Absolutely. Maybe we should take the guide to being a perfect Zipster, no? Nah, don't need it. Just look how cool we are. So? Mm -hmm. I'm hesitating between ridiculous and hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> What's gotten into them? It looks like they're making fun of us. Nah, no way. It's just that... We've got the look, but not the attitude. Remember what the girls said, zipsters impose coolitude. They're allowed to do anything. We've got to impose, Sam. <laughs> Sorry, girls, but we want to watch something else. <laughs> hey, are you nuts or what? Who do you think you are, anyway? A zipster. <laughs> you mind, Vic? <laughs> Totally wacko! Don't you dare put your butt on my pillow! Oh, yeah. I don't get it. I thought they just loved zipsters. They think we're fake zipsters. No, oh, it's because they know our beards are fake. If nobody takes us seriously, Fang will never give us our share of the food. Of course. Once we're outside, nobody will know these are fake beards. And this time, we're gonna follow the guide to being a perfect zipster. You see, Sam, in order to pass ourselves off as perfect zipsters, we gotta do cool stuff like that. Hmm. Our turn to play. <laughs> hey, those are ours! <laughs> Who are those two bozos? <laughs> You're the one who 
us to look out, buddy, because we are Zipsters! <laughs> You know those guys? Hmm, wouldn't be Wash and Sam Livingstone, would it? Impossible! Sam and Wash don't have beards! They, they stole, stole our blanks! Give us back our toys, you mean thieves! What are you doing? We didn't steal anything, Sam. We're zipsters. We impose ourselves, period. <laughs> huh? Ah! It's sure not easy being a zipster. Yeah, but it's worth it. Check out all our admirers. Hmm. Oh, stop! <laughs> Who do you think you are, anyway? It's absolutely forbidden for pets to make little kids cry. Where did you come from? <laughs> there? Yeah, well, we know the animals who live there, and they're nothing at all like you. Especially Wash, who is more handsome, more intelligent, more... Yeah, right. Uh. Total nonsense. As for you two guys... <laughs> and don't even dream of ever stepping a foot in here again, you bubs! <sighs> Sam, can you believe it? We look so much like zipsters that nobody can recognize us. Do you realize what the future has in store for us? Yeah, cool stuff. Way better, Sam. A future without our costumes. Since no one recognizes us anymore, there's no reason to hide. Yeah. a level of ultimate zipstertude, Sam. We rule the city, so now's the moment to go find Fang and recover what is rightfully ours from that dumpster. <laughs> hey, yo, hip cats. Mm -hmm. How's about going 50-50 on the dumpster with me and my main dude here? <laughs> yeah? And why would I do that? Cause we have become zipsters. Zip what? Zipsters, dude. Isn't our look sufficient proof? What are they doing? We are doing the knee jerk, which is not something for losers. That's right, Fine. And now we belong to the club that rules the city. More like fools of the city, I'd say. <laughs> fools? I thought we were zipsters. Of course we are. And since Fang doesn't want to share, we're going to impose. <laughs> Hey there, you clowns. Didn't you hear? <laughs> but they're, they're wild beasts. Ah! Keep me alive! <laughs> and to think the solution was in front of our snouts the whole time. All we had to do was be ourselves. The wild ones! <laughs> <laughs> why didn't we think of that sooner? Ah! That's probably why we didn't think of it sooner. My lettuce smoothie! Huh? Where did they put their costumes? Come on, I got an idea! <laughs> and to think that we barely even got to taste the life of a zipster! <laughs> like that lettuce smoothie? Blah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
What in the heck are those critters? Looks like a rabbit and a canary wearing beards. Unbelievable! Don't move. I've got to take a photo from my Instagram account. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, rats, we forgot all about our wild animals. Hmm? Hmm? Ah. Phew, that was a close call. So, who's the coolest now, huh? Way to go, girls. Thanks a ton. But you can get rid of your beards now. Enough zipstering for one day. Girls? Those zipsters are girls with beards? And to thank you, we have decided to share our treasure with you. At least the zipster effect helped us get rid of Fang. <laughs> yeah, more like the no costume effect. <laughs> Boy, what a bunch of losers. They don't even have beards. And yet, everybody knows that if you want to be a hip pet, you can't be without one. <laughs> I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flea treatment complete. You've all been very good. Well done. But where on earth is Victoria? That's weird. She was here two minutes ago. Seeing how she hates that flea product, she must be long gone. It's like she has some sixth sense that tells her when to leave at treatment time. We're gonna have to find her. This year, the fleas are back with a vengeance. Hmm. Hey, Vic, there you are. You We've been looking everywhere for you. Stop it! Shh! Shut up, Sam! Keep your snout out of it! Oh, darling, look! Fix up there! Get down from there right this minute! treatment for me this year. Hey guys, look, a cat. You know what that means? Party, party, party! Interesting. What's up with Vic? Can't you see? She's dancing! Cool dance routine! <laughs> I reckon she's being bitten alive by fleas. There you go, Vic. You should have played the game and taken your treatment just like everybody else. You're a fine one to speak out. Your costumes protect you from the side effects of that ghastly stuff. Ouch! And they protect you from fleas. Stop! Whoa, well, there you are, Vic. Mm -hmm. This time you're going nowhere. I know it smells bad and it makes your head hurt, but at least the fleas are going to leave you alone. <laughs> Get the shelter! Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. Who's up for a game of forest ball? Yeah! yeah! Count me out this time. Go long, Sam! <laughs> Comfortable. 
I think we've struck gold, guys. The perfect warm and toasty hideaway to party all winter long. What is that thing? <laughs> Whoa, welcome to paradise. I think I might like it here. Me too. I hope our buddies are enjoying themselves as much on the other double fur animals. <laughs> we have a problem. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not scratch in front of them. Otherwise, zip. We'll be up in front of the vet in no time. What if the vet examines us and discovers we're wild animals? I don't want to go back to the forest. There we go. We're off for a weekend in the wild. Be good, little angels. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Oh, what did I do with my sunglasses? Oh, here they are. All right, honey, I got the road map. And the tortoise. Stop, stop, silly of me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Them. Do you reckon they have fleas? Hmm, but the treatment works perfectly. Victoria's fine. I'll call up the vet anyway. I'll make an appointment for tomorrow morning when we get back. What a nightmare! <laughs> <laughs> we cannot let that vet examine us. We have to come up with some solution to get rid of these fleas. No, I can't take it anymore. Yes, you so good. Good idea, Sam. Yeah. They're everywhere. That's what we're going to find out. Organize this is a genius. Yes. Does it work? Right. We're gonna have to find some other idea. <laughs> well, well, what a cute little dance routine you got there. This is not the time, Vic. If we don't ditch these fleas before the living stones get back, we're done for. Help us, Vic. What can we do to get rid of them? <laughs> To do that, you'll have to find them a better place to live. Like a mansion with a mud jacuzzi? No, another animal. But don't worry, there must be hundreds of untreated pets around here. Hey, Vic, you're a genius! <sighs> but why do I have to do this first? That's the way it is. We drew lots. Trust me on this, everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's up, Sam? Lost your way to your comfy Sophie? Hey, thing. Hey, I was looking for you with my buddies. We just wanted to say that... That what? <laughs> that you're an awesome neighbor we all wanted to give you a big hug to say thanks. Huh? <laughs> What's that smell? Wait, I'll go see. I don't know what it is. It looks like a trash can with fur. Nothing compared to our double fur penthouse suite here. What's wrong with you? I mean, what have those guys been putting in your food lately? To think I'm the one everyone calls wild around here. They're really clinging on. I don't think we have many options left. Who needs the vet? We get our hands on the flea treatment and blam! A quick dose on our real fur and problem solved. You ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Oops. Be careful, Sam. I don't believe 
believe it. What kind of vet is this guy? There's everything but meds here. Animal weight, 59 pounds or 13 ounces. Oh, no, Sam! 59 pounds and 13 ounces? That's impossible, Wash. The guy inside that thing is lying. <laughs> the animals! <laughs> Calm down. Did you hear that? Sounds like there are thousands of animals out there. Oh, it's nice warm fur. We're right, and it sure smells good. Maybe it's time to throw the party of the century. Yay! Moving out. Thanks. You can sleep easy now. Come on, let's go look for our treatment. You know as you heard it, right? <gasps> it's the vet. Quick, let's get out of here. What about the flea treatment? I'd much rather live in a cold forest with fleas than get caught hanging around here. Let's go! Oh, what are the... Do something! Look at them, Vladimir! I shall never forget you, you little marvel of technology, you. What are you doing? Farewell, Sofa! Farewell, TV! Farewell, lovely home! Thank you for all the good times you had! We're home! We came as quickly as we could. Oh, poor little honeys. Looks like they're at their wits' end. The vet will be here any minute. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone, good day. So, where are the patients? I can't take it anymore. It has to stop. This torture has to end. What torture? You stopped scratching. Yeah, you're right. But that means the fleas must have gone. At last, someone with a brain cell. But how come I didn't notice? I have good news and bad news. The bad news is my clinic suffered a flea invasion last night, and I don't have the usual product in stock. Yeah. But the good news is, we get to try out a totally new treatment that's even more powerful. Yeah. Uh, right. The only complicated thing about this product is that it has to be swallowed. Awesome! It's breakfast time! I say, your animals sure are cooperative. Hang on, where's the other cat? <laughs> Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. It's a good thing we got away with it this time. I hate swallowing tablets. Hey, I wonder what did happen to our fleas. Hey, it's you, Hadley. How's it going, buddy? Cool place here, huh? Huh? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. to go to Bebop Bunny for a free beauty kit. Pretty obvious, no? Sorry, we're super busy. We're onto something absolutely awesome here. Racing at top speed, the black slug can cover more than two centimeters an hour. We wanna go! We wanna go! We wanna go! Sure, promise. Tomorrow. No! <laughs> Today! Uh, mm -mm. 
What's that? Hmm. Duh! It's a bunny mobile! A self-driving car to go to the Bebop Bunny Baron! A state-of-the-art self-driving car? Wash, we're actually kind of busy, huh? And besides, must I remind you that cars are reserved for humans only? Come on, cool it, Sam. I just want to have a look. I wasn't going to drive it. <sighs> Relax. The living stones are gone for the day. And when we get back, the race will only be half over. Sorry. If I say yes, then I'll lose all credibility around here. So the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right. Yippee! Ah, I can't see anything through this tinted glass. Welcome aboard the Bunny Mobile. Passengers, please get in. During your trip, enjoy all the comfort of the Bunny Mobile. Automatic pilot with GPS, speed regulator, soft drink dispenser, and free call at 011-989998819999999-7253 in case of emergency. Destination, Bebop Bunny. Stop the car! No! We're gonna get caught! Oh, come on, Sam! Don't worry! The windows are tinted, so there's no risk! Uh oh. Are you sure we're okay? I get this feeling we've been spotted. Emergency on the corner of Lafayette and Washington. There's an alligator in a tree! You see? I told you we had nothing to fear. In order to access your relaxation options, punch in the bunny button. Option one, massage. Option two, music. Option three, carrot juice. Oh, Wash, this is too awesome. Do you think they also make kitty mobiles? When are we gonna get there? We're not even moving. But we are moving. It's just that the technology in these cars is so sophisticated that you don't even notice you're driving when in fact you're actually speeding down the road. Mm. Oh, because like right now we're speeding, huh? Are, are we, we there, there yet? yet? Hurry up! This is taking so long! All right already, girls, I'll speed up. All you had to do was ask. Newsflash, the Bunny Store Fair is a whopping success and their beauty kits are going like hotcakes. Hurry up if you want to get your hands on one. They won't last long. Oh, no! My beauty kit! Wash, hurry up! Please, please, please! Please, 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 please! Okay, okay, everything's under control. Don't panic. Situation's under control. Turn this thing off! An alligator in a tree? What'll they come up with next? Uh-oh, the animal pound! Yeah, well, with the tinted glass windows, we're cool. Oh, yeah? And you think that works when they're open, too? Acceleration activated. Let's go. Forget the alligator. Uh, kid, this is your chance. We're counting on you. Ah, uh, they're not following us anymore. Well, of course not. They're the animal pound, not the police. You have reached your final destination. We'll wait for you in the car, girls. Don't take too long, OK? <laughs> what did I say, huh? It was all just child's play. Yeah. <laughs> pound! Start! Error. You have reached your final destination. Activate bunny control to enter a new destination. Oh, Automatic remote go. control deactivated. Manual drive is activated. <laughs> Super Duper Tunnel Slide has just opened! Come and get your fill of bunny thrills! Shall we go? It looks awesome! Do you think we've got time? Sam said we 
should hurry up. Yeah, all right. He's probably getting a massage in the bunny mobile right now. I bet he's in seventh heaven. Oh, Wash, speed up! They're right behind us. Phew! They're gone. We're safe. Wash, you can slow down. They're gone. I'd like to, except I get the feeling that the accelerator's like uh, stuck. Uh, Sam, don't touch anything. This is no time to slow down. Up Eugenie and Susie without getting caught. Call the emergency number. I think now's the time. Oh, yeah, good idea. But, uh, what was the number again? Uh, after 999881999, is it a one or a nine? Do you think Sam and Wash are going to jail? But the close call. I really like his daredevil style. He's totally oh. fearless. Reminds me of the blind bird Joe. That's my buddy Washington driving the bunny mobile. Think you could help him ditch the guys following them? An awesome driver like him? Well, that would be an honor. Flight formation! <laughs> Open fire! Center, how can I be of assistance to you? Hey, it works! Uh, can you tell me why we're calling them again? Drop it! Everything's cool, I ditched them. Oh! Oh no! I just realized! How are we going to get to the girls? Battery dead. Please recharge battery. I repeat, please <laughs> Did you just touch something? Charge. <laughs> battery. Do you know where we are, Sam? No idea. Even when I was little, I couldn't find my way home from one mud puddle to the next. So just imagine here. Are you serious? <laughs> you don't even know where you are. Our house is right over there. You two genie! Susie! Of course we knew where we were. We were just waiting for you. So, shall we go home? Yeah. We're filthy. If the Living Stones see us like this, they're going to want to give us a bath, and then they'll see our costumes, and... We knew we should have stayed in front of the TV. Drat, you're right. Hey, how did you do it? What? Get clean? Check it out. Bebop Bunny All-Purpose Cleaner. <laughs> wow, that works. Awesome. Thank you, girls. <laughs> You see, Sam, I told you we'd be back in time for the end of the race. Yeah, but now that we missed everything in the middle, I can't figure out what's going on. Uh, your snail race totally stinks. Bebop Bunny's way better. Hey, darlings, we've got a surprise for you. We're taking you to the Bebop Bunny Fair. Yay! <laughs> you agree? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret.
Boy replies, of course not. I just got back from the hairdresser. <laughs> Boy, that's funny, Sam. Have mercy. Please, not them. We've come to keep you company, Vic. And guess what? <laughs> Sam's got a super funny joke to tell you. So, there's this wild boar who goes into a supermarket don't and... Don't you guys have anything better to do? Like, I don't know, going to see if I'm not somewhere else? But how can you be somewhere else if you're here? Mrs. Livingstone, thank you so much for looking after my nephew while I'm at the dentist. <laughs> ah, I almost forgot. Here's a list of all of Donald's allergies. <laughs> oh, I just bet that you love cookies. Only if they're gluten-free and without peanuts or eggs. Huh? How about a glass of water, then? Is it filtered? Hmm. What a nice kid. Hello there, Donald. How are you today? Ah! Oh, a cat! A cat! I'm allergic! Ah, 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 Get rid of it now! Oh, right. Here it is. Allergic to cats. Sorry, Vic, but you can't stay here. Ah, <laughs> Only for a few hours, big girl. So, Vic, you got thrown out, did you? It was because of... <gasps> hey, Vic, look at my new hat. Do you like it? Funny, isn't it? Uh, actually, I just came outside to tell you that Donald was here, and he just loves big cats. You, yeah? Really? And what's more, he brought tons of cat candy for us. Yeah? For us? Yep. But you better hurry up, Sam. There's not much left. Countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa, oh, uh? super! What? <laughs> Finally, a cat that I'm not allergic to. This is the best day of my life. What does allergic mean? You're allergic when you come into contact with things that you can't stand. Like when I have to take a shower? No, no, more like things you eat or cat hair, for example. Yeah, but Sam isn't a real cat. Yeah. Precisely. And He's that's why Donald isn't sneezing. <laughs> and why His Highness is allowed inside. We're going to have so much fun together. <laughs> it's kind of strange that Donald's not sneezing, isn't it? Yeah, but in the meantime, somebody's really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Cats have all the luck. Ah, come on, Vic. It's just for the day. And besides, the weather's great. You were saying? Woohoo! Let's go jump in the puddle! <laughs> <laughs> hey, so weird. You got a big metal scar in your chest. I was operated on for appendicitis, too. Did yours hurt? Did you cry? Let me see. <laughs> Everything cool? Uh, no, nothing's cool. You can't continue playing with him. Yeah, why not? I like that groove. Because he's going to figure out you're not a real cat. Come on now, follow me. Hey, I don't want to go outside. And besides, it's raining. Yeah, well, when you get sent back to the forest, you're going to have rain every day. <laughs> Together. It makes Donald so happy. It's my cat, bad dog! 
It's only for a few hours, Wash. Go on, go. <laughs> Take a breath, Vic. Take a deep breath. Giddy up, horsey! Giddy up! <laughs> if this keeps up, I'm gonna have to pull out the heavy artillery. <laughs> Will you? Woohoo! Super! You're my very own kitty cat! <laughs> enough is enough! Come on! Let's go play doctor! <laughs> <laughs> Stop, you mean bad doggy! You're gonna ruin my kitty cat! <laughs> Stop it, will you? You do that again, Wash. There will be no kibble for you tonight. <laughs> That's it. Decision's made. I'm going to find myself some new owner somewhere near a beach in the sunny south. We're going to give you a checkup, Mr. Cat. Open your mouth wide and say, ah! Open your mouth, cat! <laughs> Quick, Sam! Let's get a move on! Donald, where are you? Your aunt is here. Time to go home. I want to stay with the big cat! Come on now, Donald. You know that's impossible. I want to keep him. I've never had my own. Actually, Sam could spend the rest of the day with Donald after all. It's right next door. Great idea. Donald, we'll let you keep Sam for the rest of the day. And after, you'll put him back in our yard, okay? <laughs> Run for your life! <laughs> <laughs> find us in here. Hey there, I was here first. Victoria? What are you doing in here? What does it look like? I'm having tea. Really? Of course not. I'm in here because of that nasty little brat. How I would just love to leap on him and give him the allergy of a lifetime. Hey, you've just given me a great idea, Vic. If Donald hugs a real cat, then he'll get a real allergy. Am I right or what? Except that he wants me, and I'm not a real cat. I'm a wild boar dressed up to look like a cat. Exactly. Not even in your dreams, Wash. There's no other way, Vic. I'd rather eat a bag of rotten kibble. Please. The answer is no. You can have the parasol all for yourself. Mm -hmm. And the fan. And the fan. For the whole summer. For the whole summer. than you were earlier. <laughs> Must be all that exercise he's been getting with you. You big kitty cat! That's not Sam! Meow? And that's not even Sam's meow! Hmm. It's true. He is much lighter. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is bad! <laughs> Okay, 
Hey, Donald. No! I'm going to catch a cold now. I'll get you a sweater right away. Uh, can you lend us a towel and a hair dryer? Get out of the costume, Becky. Hey, you Hurry up! Uh. Uh. What a monster! I want to go home! <laughs> What's his problem? Never seen a two-headed cat? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, Vic. Give us a bit of the fan, huh? Sorry. <sighs> a deal's a deal. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Livingstone. Do you mind if I leave my kids with you while I go do some shopping? No way! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. So? I can hear her scratching her litter box. Vic will be out in a second. And Sam? Still nothing. Hmm. Whoa! One minute, 13 seconds. Vic did all her business in one minute, 13 seconds. You are awesome. And I can do even better than that. One time, I stayed in there less than a minute. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Three hours, 45 minutes. He's never stayed so long in his litter box. I can't believe it. Do girls realize that Sam is going to beat his own world record? So? Oh, three hours, 45 minutes, and 57 seconds. You just beat your record. Way to go, amigo. Yeah. Back in the forest, I won the contest to see which wild boar could do the biggest. Hey, darling, it's me. And who's the big package for? It's for Sam. Ta-da! Your potty is ready, Sam. With this, you'll be able to use the toilet like a human being. And it will save us from having to empty your litter box several times a day. It will certainly be useful, but do you think Sam will manage? <laughs> of course he will, honey. Sam is very smart. Amazing! The Las Vegas Electronics Show. Now this is a program for me. Ugh. Sam, what's wrong with you? You have to go to the bathroom! Again? Sam, you've just been exactly 3 hours, 45 minutes, and 57 seconds in the toilet! It's because of Mr. Livingstone's pet potty! Just thinking about it stresses me out, and when I'm stressed out, I have to go to the bathroom! Come on, Sam, I'm sure it'll work just fine! It's pretty obvious it's not you who has to use the pet potty! It's super complicated! There's a sort of pan where you put your paws just above a hole with water, and I don't understand a thing! Listen, Sam, if it's that bad, go in your old litter box! Then you can just flush the toilet to make the living stones think that you were on the pet body like a good cat and you're home free. Thanks, Wash. You're the best. No, no, no. No more litter box. Now you're going to go to the potty like a big cat. How does this thing work? <laughs> there, you can do your business now, Sam. New technology serving human needs. <sighs> what if just for once they thought of animal needs? <laughs> what, you missed the hole? <laughs> way, way worse. I didn't do anything at all. The Living Stones watch me to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. But to do that, I have to unzip the back of my costume. And if the Living Stones see that, they'll discover that I'm not a real cat. Don't worry, Sam. We're going to help you. But do you mind waiting until my show's over? If they're rolling the end credits, okay. Otherwise, I think it'll be too risky. Oh. <laughs> hey, you want to play ball there, Washington? 
<laughs> Honey, I'm going outside to play ball with Washington. Right. What are you doing here, you little rascals? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good dog. That's the alarm I installed for sale. Quick! What? Why did he stop playing? Do you think he did his business? Mm -mm. Don't worry, honey. It's his first time. It's normal. It may take a while. Ah. Sam's not moving. His costume must be open in the rear. I've got an idea. Get yourselves ready to go button up Sam's costume. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't seem to be getting used to it. I really feel like that pet body is a failure. Perhaps he simply has a shy bladder. Maybe he freezes up when he knows people are watching him go to the bathroom? With this little camera, Sam won't know he's being watched and will be able to verify that he's learning to use the pet potty. I could never forgive myself if it's too hard for him. Why, Mr. Livingstone, you think of everything. Yeah. Can you lend me your litter box, please? I already had to stop a fake dog from doing number one in it. There's certainly no way a fake cat is going to do a number two. Don't worry, Sam. Don't listen. We don't need her. Just do it discreetly in the yard like dogs do. But Wash, I'm a cat. What about feline honor, you know? Sam, must I remind you that you are first and foremost a wild boar? And that is exactly what the Livingstones are going to find out if you don't wake up. It's true. I suppose the yard isn't that bad after all. Thanks, Wash. It works! Voila! Now all we have to do is wait for Sam. <laughs> At least no one will see me up there. You disgusting pig! You know what this reminds me of? That's a blind French film from the 60s. Oh, come on, honey. You know that film where you broke your nodding off record by falling asleep after only five minutes? Uh, two years ago at Barry and Matt's? Exactly. Except that here, when Sam finally shows up, the film is going to become exciting. It's impossible for me to find a quiet place. The yard is even worse than the forest on the first day of the hunting season. There are crowds everywhere. Wait a bit, Sam. When the sun goes down, everyone will leave to I go. I can't hold it in. I'm going to use the pet body and tough luck if the living stones catch me and I have to go back and live in the forest as the wild boar that I really am. Farewell, dogs, cats, canaries, and beloved TV. We can't leave him like this. Wash, you've got to do something. Of course. Listen, we're going to dig a secret bathroom under the sofa for Sam and build a sewage system that will connect to the elves' bathroom. Then we'll activate the toilet flush by tinkering around with the remote control Wouldn't after it be having... a whole lot easier to just turn off the camera in the bathroom? Uh, yeah. Obviously, <laughs> that's what I was getting at. Sorry, Nick. I've got no choice. Ouch! Nick, I'm begging you. Your litter box is the only place I can do my business without the camera seeing me. If you agree, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll offer you my treasure chest of chestnuts. That's sweet of you, Sam. But it's a no. Hmm. Nick, wait a minute. I got something for you. No means no. What in the world is he doing? How about we go watch TV instead? Besides, we'll get a warning when Sam climbs onto the pet potty. You left the alarm on, didn't you? Absolutely. <laughs> but, but where's Sam? 
If he's not here, that means he didn't climb onto the pet potty. So we still have a chance to save him by turning off the camera before he comes back. Uh, how do you turn this thing off? No idea. Hold on, I'm coming. What if I let you choose the TV programs for a week? Nope. A month? Uh, no. What about forever? Um, okay, it's a deal. <laughs> you can use my litter box, but just this once. <laughs> What in the world are you doing? Stop that right now, it's dangerous. You've got it all wrong, Vic. What's dangerous for Sam is that camera pointed at the pet potty. Contrary to popular belief, new technology is not only here to serve humans, but also animals. And to prove it, here is a self-cleaning litter oh. box, which not only allows happy cat owners everywhere to stop cleaning out litter boxes, but it can also be delivered in one minute flat anywhere in the world. Wow, exactly what we need for Sam. But why? Sam is going to master the pet potty, honey. I'm 100% sure of it. Why, it's just a question of minutes. Right, honey. A self-cleaning litter box delivered in a minute sounds like a pretty good idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on, honey. Let's give Sam some privacy this time. <laughs> With all the excitement around here, the Livingstones didn't even think to fix my broken litter box. I'm the one who should have gotten the self-cleaning box. Why don't you ask Sam? I'm <laughs> sure he'll let you use it. So I can die asphyxiated? No, thank you very much. Anybody knew how to get out of this thing? Oh, Rat, Sam is stuck. How do we open this thing? Let the pro handle this. High tech is my middle name. Oops, maybe that wasn't the right button. <gasps> ah! Whoa, this is the best invention of all time. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. How we doing, girls? Still eight minutes and 15 seconds. 14, 13, 12, 11. Yeah, yeah, okay, thanks, we get it. It's just taking so long. You, lots of action. It's a spence. Yeah, right, there's no mystery here. They're just doing spring cleaning. Except it's summer. Our dear owners have simply lost something. They destroy everything in the house whenever something goes missing. They are the wild ones. The last time it was our car keys. Another time it was a tennis racket. The worst of all was the soda bottle opener. They went out of their minds. My beautiful wedding ring. Why did I tell you? It's so, so precious to me. And besides, it was my grandmother's. <laughs> I just don't understand. Whenever I'm not wearing it, I always put it there. Okay, let's attack the rest of the house. You want me to use the sledgehammer this time or the wallpaper remover? No! Ah, the sledgehammer! I was just thinking, what if one of our darling animals swallowed it by mistake? Well, listen, if we don't turn up anything in the house, then we'll go straight to the vet for the x-rays. Did you hear what they said? Yes, they're finally gone. We've got the TV on to ourselves! <laughs> okay, guys, let's all be totally honest about this. Did one of you swallow that ring? Victoria. Mm. Oh, please. If I had swallowed it, I would have spit it out immediately. And believe me, I can tell the difference between a hairball and a ring. 
Eugenie? Impossible. My metabolism would never allow me to digest gold that is not 100% 24 carat. I admit it. I tried to once, but it got stuck in my beak. Who says it wasn't you, Washington? After all, it's easy to accuse others. <laughs> no! <laughs> Sam! Sam! E Woods! You're the one who swallowed the ring! Not to mention the remote control. No! We've got to find a solution before the Living Stones return. Yeah, what you really have to do is find a way to get the remote control before my soap begins. Otherwise, it's me who's going to be sending you back to the forest. <laughs> the cake is ready! Magnificent. Right, we're going to have to wait until it's cooled down. Listen, I've given it some thought. We'll look in the yard, but if we don't find it there, we're going to the vets. A simple x-ray and we'll know if it's in one of their stomachs. It's a catastrophe. What's an x-ray, Wash? It's a thing that allows you to see everywhere, see through everything, and guess what they're gonna see in us? Hmm? <laughs> okay, little hint. It's made of metal and it goes up and down. In the elevator? Hmm. Oh, our zippers! Yes! Faster! Up, faster! Up, down, up, down! Come on! Spit! Are you gonna spit out that ring or what? Hmm. <gasps> Watch out! She's looking this way! <laughs> We're gonna have to find another way. <laughs> so, Sam, is it coming or what? Did you get the ring? Did you? Look, my favorite toy. It's amazing. I was sure it was lost forever. <gasps> Wind, <gasps> expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. Hit, expel. You got the ring! Uh, no. On the other hand, Susie knows exactly where the remote control is. <laughs> Yippee! I'm going to be able to watch my soap now. I still don't think you get it. If we don't find that ring right this second, we're all goners! Hey there, gang. What do you say to a little outing right about now? <laughs> I hate you all. Zippers, we may as well head straight for the forest right now, guys. No, I haven't said my last word yet. But I hope your stomach is up to this, Sam. Mm -hmm. Everything okay in there, Susie? Affirmative, Washington, but it's totally pitch black in here. Good luck, little one. Huh? Wow! Did you find the ring? No! It's not going to be easy. You wouldn't believe the junkyard in Sam's stomach. You uh, were what? Awesome. Huh? Oh, that's so beautiful. Where's that music coming from? Did you just turn the radio on, honey? Mm -mm. Susie, this is no time to play piano. The ring. We're here, Susie, quick, hurry up! Well, it's make or break now, guys. Uh, you're here for x-rays? Uh, but that, uh, uh, that's not possible. Uh, you have to make an appointment at least 48 hours in advance and put them on a very specific diet. What in the world are you talking about, Vladimir? Shh, you know very well that I hate the x-ray machine. It scares me. And besides, I am, uh, extremely busy. There is no way I can see so many patients right now. In fact, I'm full up. But there's nobody but us here. I must absolutely get my ring back! My uh, precious uh, ring! Do you uh, understand? No, uh, oh, uh, very yeah. well then. Uh, no problem. <laughs> what I should do is go verify the instructions manual. Oh, uh, what I mean is, uh, Velma, will you please fill out the four admissions forms? Four? One, two, three, four, and... But, 
But Susie, she's missing. Oh. Can we leave them with you? We yeah. have to go back and get Susie, our canary. Come on, Vladimir. Uh. Let's go set up the x-ray machine. Uh. Ugh, and now we have to get x-rayed? You guys sure have given me the royal treatment. <laughs> uh -huh. So? Nothing. It would take a lifetime to sort out everything in Sam's stomach. Yeah. Hey, no one has ever complained about my internal disorder before. And it was already pretty nice of me to let you go rummaging around. Yeah, sorry, Sam, it's true. But you really do eat a lot. You're yeah, right. And it's pretty easy to swallow a ring. Anybody could, especially without even knowing it. Ah. Uh, right, so uh, I guess I'll be getting back to the mines. Yeah. My little Susie, perfect. I'll just call your owners and let them know while the vet runs you through the x-ray machine. <laughs> you are going to climb up there and stand behind the screen while I take your x-rays. And we will immediately be able to see everything you are hiding. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Velma! <laughs> Which button is it again that uh, turns on the machine? The big red button! And the light regulator? Well, you have to place the cursor on zero to turn it on. And then you increase the brightness little by little while turning the little knob on the left in order to sharpen the contrast. Vic, quick, mm -hmm. distract the vet. That way, we'll be able to quickly take off our costumes and we'll put them back on when we step out of the machine. And what's in it for me? Our kibble for the whole week? The pillow next to the radiator? Massages? You get to watch your favorite series on TV every single day. It's a deal. Hmm, weird. Velma? Now! Come on now, Vladimir. I've already shown you a thousand times. There, it's ready. Hmm, no sign of a ring. On the other hand, I'm going to have to prescribe a serious cure for the fat cat so we can get rid of all that junk. Way to go, Vladimir. Excellent <laughs> analysis. I'm very proud of you. Come on now. Quit pretending to be shy. Come out from behind there. So? Uh -oh. Did you find my ring? She's back! No sign of a ring. Too bad. Here. I wanted to apologize for having lost my cool earlier, so I baked you a cake. My cake! Huh? Oh, how sweet of you. Uh. <laughs> wow! Your ring was there in the cake all along! Perfect. Now. Do you mind turning up the volume, Susie? Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. <sighs> Dr. Alessandro, why, I love you too. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret.
dreaming? Or are our pets getting really, really huge? Yeah, I may have been going a bit heavy on the portions lately. <laughs> <laughs> I hear the call of the kibble! <laughs> 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 hey guys, what is that huge thing? A kibble! It's all stuck inside! Give me back my kibble! Right, let's just calm down and tranquilly analyze the situation. Do you think they'll come out? Mm -hmm. Three crummy kibbles? <laughs> Looks like our brand new super kibble dispenser has them intrigued. With a diet like this, they'll slim down in no time. Let's let them savor their breakfast. What? That's it? They can't do that to us! Calm down, Sam. We may as well help ourselves to the supply stock. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Huh? They're all locked? We're off to work. See you this evening. <laughs> five hours and 54 minutes? Oh, no! We have to wait five hours and 54 minutes before dinner. Uh, we'll never get it open. We're goners. Any silly costumes which are too tight. Well, since we got no food, with Flying Pizza Delivery, your dreams become reality. Order your XXL pizza now by just punching the OK button on your remote control. Two each. <laughs> your order has been confirmed. Flying Pizza at your... <laughs> Service? <laughs> <laughs> Wild animals! Uh, the delivery guy. Phew! He's breathing. He's just unconscious. So we've got to get rid of him immediately. Besides, he saw us without our costumes. Coast is clear. Whoa, hang on. What's that noise in his trunk? Have you received your delivery? Push one to confirm. You have not confirmed. Flying Pizza will send an emergency team in nine, eight, seven. No, oh, no, six, they're on their way. Five, We're four, three, two. Phew. Congratulations. You have been given a new delivery. It awaits you at the Flying Pizza Dispatch. Push one to confirm. <laughs> your next delivery has been confirmed. The Flying Pizza Dispatch Center awaits your arrival. Bingo! Right, we've got no choice then. No way can Flying Pizza find out. Yeah, if their emergency team shows up, they're gonna find their delivery boy out cold. And what's more, discover our real identities. Remember, he saw us without our costumes. Straight ahead, and then you take the next right. He's still asleep. That's a good sign. A hairpin turn? You said it was straight ahead. What's going on with you? You're late, and you took long enough to confirm at the last delivery. Do you think it's gonna work? You're not very talkative. Now listen up, kiddo. No more being late. You do your job fast, and you do it well. 
Capiche? Otherwise, I send in the emergency team, and believe me, you don't want to see those guys unless you want to wind up as a topping on the next pizza. <laughs> Whoa, this job sure isn't easy. Yum, pizza toppings. Right, I take your silence as a yes. Mm. New order in process of being delivered. Mozzarella, anchovies, capers, mushrooms, olives. Sam, wash, quick! We're running super late! Hey, where is Sam? What do you want, you filthy mud, you? Hey, come back, will you? Give me back my pizza doll! Sam, no! <laughs> Over this bridge. Come on, let's go. We're gonna make it. Oh no! The bridge is rising! We gotta make it across. Otherwise, we'll never make it in time. I can't watch. We made it! Okay, that's great. So we deliver the pizza, and that's that! Right on time! What is that? It looks like the house of the... Veterinarian! <laughs> what in the world is my special flying pizza with extra pepperoni and sausage and oyster toppings going to get here? I'm not going in! Me neither! Come on, a bit of courage, guys. A man who likes pizza can't be all that bad. And besides, we've got no choice. Otherwise, the emergency team turns us into toppings. Come on, let's go. <laughs> so, late again. If they're not here in 30 seconds, I'm calling the Flyer Pizza's emergency hotline. Quick! We gotta deliver the pizza! We can't let him make that call! to you, young man. Hmm. Lackluster fur. Snout is dry. Hmm. You lack vitality, energy. You need to get out more, old boy. Get some exercise. Do you like playing with rubber balls? Right. So what you need is a pick-me-up. I'm also prescribing you three days sick leave. Your job is exhausting. And here's a tip. You're lucky, you know. Two more seconds and I was going to call the emergency hotline. Uh, uh, thank you. But where did all the wild animals go? Wild animals? The medicine must be kicking in already. <laughs> Flying Pizza has another order for you. Push one to confirm. You kept the watch? Well, what? I think it's pretty. Are you crazy or what? Do you want to wind up as pepperoni topping? <laughs> so what are we going to do now? We are going home. Home? But how? It's far. Oh, I don't know. Try walking. It's incredible! 
beautiful. Crazy. You all look like you're in tip-top shape. <laughs> it even looks like their muscles are toned up. And they look so healthy, don't they? Yes, as if they had been exercising outside in the fresh air all day. Well, well, I had my doubts about that kibble dispenser, but I can tell you we're certainly keeping it now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Plugs kibble on TV. Not only, I've heard he's broken into the movies now, too. What? Why did he do that? I'd never leave a job where I get to eat as much kibble as I want all day long. Which reminds me, I'm hungry. I never go anywhere without Kitty Munch kibble. Woohoo! Meow! Meow! Want your Kitty Munch kibble, Sam? Enroll your cat in the national audition to replace our Kitty Munch ambassador, Oscar, and you could win a year's supply of kibble. We could sign up Victoria. Meow, meow. You too, little Sammy. Want to sign up for the Kitty Munch audition? Mm -hmm. You really think he has any chance? Who knows? Looks like he likes the idea. An audition for Kitty Munch kibble? No way, not me. How vulgar. If only it was for Royal Kitty Pate. If you aren't interested in Kibble Vic, will you let me win? No. You have no chance, Sam. You are not a real cat. Everyone will see that. Don't listen to her, Sam. You can do it. You've been doing your cat act 24 7 ever since we got here. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. And I'm going to help you. We're going to turn you into advertising's first ever boar cat, okay? <sighs> Doing here. We're coming with you. We want to get Oscar's autograph. We brought a photo. You uh. this is an ad for kibbles. It's a job for cats, not goats. Meow, meow. Victoria and Sam. Leave them with me. Good, Good luck, luck, honey buns. buns. See, See you later. later. Come along, you two. <laughs> yeah, you see that? Don't worry, Sam. You're the best. <laughs> Are you joking? Nobody is as good as me, whether they're the real deal or phony. Now, is everybody here? Can we stop the improvisations, please? First up, Melody. She's a knockout! No, no, no! Too wishy-washy. Next! <laughs> Not bad. He stays? Not bad? I can never do as good Next. as him! Ah, let's get this over with. She stays for sure. Next! <laughs> no, I don't want to go. I'll never make it. Of course you will. Sam, let your inner cat shine and think of all the kibble waiting for you when you win. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that guy's incredible, hilarious. We'll take him with Hans and Vic. The rest of you, on your way. <laughs> I know that Oscar's around here somewhere. I can feel it. I'll go take a look through there. But the window's open. Let me go. Wait, Susie, stop. It's not a real window. It's the car. You okay, Susie? At least it's open now. Time for the taste test. Take it away. Eat your kibble. I love the fat funny cat. He's our guy. Take five, everybody. Then we roll. Here's the funny cat that won. Where is he? It's you, Sam. You won me, but I'm not fat. But I know I sure am funny. <laughs> This audition is a joke. At least I won't have to waste any more of my precious time. I don't believe it. They can't possibly prefer that bumpkin. He may be a bumpkin, but at least he's not a second-rate ham. You okay, Sam? You need a little uh, refreshment? Well done. Great job. So, who are you then? His coach. I train him. I look after him. But who's ever heard of a dog looking after a cat? Oh, I see you're new to the business. Hang around and you'll get to see a lot of it. Dogs taking care of cats. Here's the living proof. All right, I'll go fetch you something to drink. And if he starts asking questions, whatever you do, don't say a word. <laughs> so you've been acting for a while then. <laughs> I have rarely met an actor as talented as you. <laughs> Look, Susie, there he is! Oscar! 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 Can I please just take one little second of your precious time? Mr. Oscar? <gasps> Look, you genie! Huh. Yeah, okay, everything here is fake. It's pathetic! Oscar probably doesn't even exist! That was perfect! Thanks, Oscar! It's in the cast! We're shooting in five! Dad, have you seen Sam? Of course I have. In my dreams. He was riding this giant hot dog bareback. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> we were playing around next door with Hans. He pushed me into a big vat of bubble gum. That guy's hilarious. <laughs> Dad! What in the world is that? <laughs> Go scrub up that fat feline right this minute. We have no time to lose. No way. If they start washing you, they'll find your zipper and blow our cover. Come on, Sam. Quick. OK, I knew cats didn't like water, but I didn't think they hated it that much. Go, security. Get him back here as fast as you can. Otherwise, we'll have to do with that guy. Hmm. Security, we just lost our new kibble star. Can you do something? OK, we'll, we'll take, take care of it. <laughs> I told you that you and your pumpkin buddies would never make the grade. Oh, yeah? You sure? Because I don't know if you knew it, but the shoot's been postponed! <laughs> <laughs> huh, what in the... Oh, no! Okay, well, we gotta switch camera. Take five, guys. Quick, take off your costume. <laughs> you supply a kibble up in smoke, and I was the winner! It's not fair! Where did they get to? There you go, clean as a whisker. Now we just have to get it dry. Go on, Sam, another squeeze and we're done. Sam, wash? Hurry along, if Sam gets back quickly, the roll is still his. A boy? I knew you were just a silly bumpkin. Your days in advertising are over, sunshine. <laughs> What's going, going down? down? It's coming from there. <laughs> there! A boy with a doll! Hey! Stop! Still no sign of the funny cat? No. Security's tied up. They say they're chasing down a wild boar. Shame. Too bad we'll have to get with the other guy. Look! It's him! It must be! It's him! Mr. Oscar, can I please just take one little second of your precious time? Will you please sign an autograph for us? Of course, with pleasure. My fans mean everything to me. Shoot, 
I've got nothing to sign with. Follow me. We'll soon change that. <laughs> Solution. Don't worry, nobody will find us here. Sam? What? What are you doing here? Why are you taking your costume <laughs> off, Sam? <laughs> you have nothing to fear. <laughs> <laughs> when I started out as an actor, nobody wanted to hire me. Who'd want to work with a badger, I ask you? So to become a star, I decided to disguise myself as a cat. But shh, mom's the word. Security! Anyone in there? Isn't that the fat cat they told us to find? Come on, kitty cat, you're coming along with us. Hey, wasn't that the dog who was hanging out with the boar? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There you go, girls. Thank you, Oscar. And cut! That's our boy, awesome! A million times better than that Z-list celebrity. I'll get you back for this! Can someone get rid of this one, please? Contact the space agency. I think they're looking for a cat to test out litter in space. Kitty Munch, the Campbell with Crunch. So, who's the big boar cat superstar in the room? It's We have just learned that a cat has been sent into space to test a new form of clump and seal cat litter. Good luck, little hands. Enjoy the trip, space cat. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. <gasps> Do you see what I see, Wash? I've never seen such a beautiful one. Sam, come on. Now you're not going to. <laughs> oh! <laughs> come on in, Wash. It's perfect. Get out of that mud now. Put your costume on. Someone could see you. <laughs> Yo, come on. We're alone. Wow! A shark! A shark? Where? 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 You don't see anything. Oh, well, that was just to get you out. <clears throat> and it worked. Hmm. Mud baths are the only thing I miss about our life in the woods. And they make my fur silky and soft. Hey, look! It's acting like it wants to stay with me. Obviously, you stink of old mud for miles around. Now, come on, get rid of that fly. We're going home. Nope, I'm keeping it. You what? I feel a sort of connection between us. Something very rare, very powerful. No way am I getting rid of this fly. <sighs> I don't believe it. Now he's talking to flies. <laughs> What is that foul thing? Well, it's my fly. I adopted it. I'm warning you, if that thing comes anywhere near me, my claws are out. <laughs> what a cute little fly! Hey, another one. It looks like they really like me. Isn't that a surprise? Come on, kids. Let me show you all around your new home. Don't worry, Vic. It's just two flies. Or rather, four. We 
would like to watch TV. Awesome! We're home! Uh -huh. What are all those flies doing around Sam? Yes, that's strange. I've never heard of cats attracting flies. Then again, Sam is unique. Luckily, there were only four. Huh? I need to talk to you, Sam. No problem, Wash. Here we are. Alone? Stay right there, kids. I'll be right back. Let's watch TV. We have to get rid of your flies right now. Oh, yeah? And do you mind telling me why, Mr. I'm so jealous? Because if the Living Stones start asking themselves too many questions, our covers are blown! A bunch of flies on a cat is too bizarre! Not a wild boar, it's a sign of social success! May I remind you that officially you are a cat and not a boar? May I also remind you that every other time animals have turned up here, we've been in big trouble! I'm not abandoning them! End of discussion! But they're just flies! Yeah. Flies, perhaps, but flies who love me. <laughs> you and I are gonna get rid of those flies. Mm. Quick! Guys, let's go outside. It's far too noisy in here. Nest. <laughs> Time for the royal nap. My court and I are taking possession of that lounge chair. Hey, Lord of the Flies, why don't you all just buzz off? to stay nice and warm to hatch. <laughs> if those flies are still here this evening, I'm kicking every one of you out. I'll take care of it. I just need to find an idea. Well, find it fast. Brilliant invention is the answer to all our problems. What's it for? Catching flies. You'll see. You just have to. <laughs> well, well, looks like you prefer sticking around. Well, duh! My flies need nourishment, too! Yes? Yeah, your flies need nourishment, too. Well, looks like you guys were hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Darling, we have to call the vet. It simply isn't normal for a cat to attract so many flies. I guess you were right, Wash. I'm gonna have to get rid of... Well, 
You know what I mean. Good, because I know just the way to do that. Well, well, what a lovely walk in the woods. If only I had a bed of leaves to lie down in. Let's go! Where are we going? We're abandoning the flies in the forest so that they can't find Sam. Hey, that reminds me of a fairy tale. Faster! Faster! They're gonna catch up with us! Hey, how about that? My old buddies. Nice to see ya, pals. <laughs> oh no, not him! No! Uh, hi there, Mitch. Hey, didn't expect to see you guys in this neck of the woods. What do we do, Wash? They're almost here! Uh. Help me, my beloved flies! That bear wants to separate us! Huh? Huh? There's no choice, Sam. You gotta tell them they can't come with you. You know, a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Yeah, I know. But it's tough, Wash. I've grown really attached to them. It's the only way! <sighs> and that's the reason why I'm gonna have to go home without you. But I'm certain you'll be happy here, out in the fresh air. And I promise I will never, ever forget you. Promise, Sam? Yeah, yeah, I promise, Wash. 